students today we are going to solve an exercise from the chapter air water and weather so let us start with the first question which is take the correct answers and in that the first is changes in the weather are caused primarily due to and the options are sun clouds rain wind so what is the correct answer for this changes in weather are caused primarily due to sun because most of the factors that affect the weather are directly or indirectly related to sun so sun is the reason the primary reason for changes in weather let us see next question clothes take long time to dry the options are when the weather is windy when the air is wet when the temperature is high when the air is dry so what is the correct option for this the correct answer for this question will be when the air is wet okay because when the air is wet it means there is lot of moisture in air and in that case clothes take long time to dry let us move on to the next question the process of changing of liquid water into water vapor is known as evaporation condensation chlorination decantation so this process of changing of liquid water into water vapor is known as evaporation so let us take mark evaporation let us move on to the next question which of the following is not a way of purifying water sedimentation chlorination filtration cooling well the correct answer for this is cooling cooling is definitely not the way of purifying the water then comes the next question frost is formed when it is very hot windy raining very cold the obvious answer for this will be very cold okay so when the temperature is very low when the climate is very cold frost is formed okay let us move on to the next question change the underlined words to make them correct and rewrite the correct statements in your notebook first the season changes from day to day second the revolution of earth on its axis causes day and night and third in winter the days are longer so what are the correct statements the weather changes from day to day and second the rotation of the earth on its axis causes day and night and third was in summer the days are longer fourth a flame burn downwards fifth hot air is heavier than cold air in winter the days are longer in coastal areas hot winds blow towards the land during the day so what are the correct answers the correct answers are a flame burn upwards hot air is lighter than cold air and sixth is in coastal areas cold winds blow towards land during the day seventh fog is caused by tiny white flakes falling from the sky and the correct answer for this is snow is caused by tiny white flakes falling from the sky students let us now move on to write short answers and first in that list is what do you mean by weather the answer you will write weather is the condition of the atmosphere surrounding us at a particular time in terms of temperature atmospheric pressure wind and moisture i will repeat the answer weather is a condition of the atmosphere surrounding us at particular time in terms of temperature atmospheric pressure wind and moisture so this is what we mean by weather second question how is condensation different from evaporation here you will write the change of water to water vapor is called evaporation and change of water vapor to water droplet is called condensation so what is evaporation evaporation is change of water to water vapor and what is condensation change of water vapor to water droplets which generally you will find on leaves in the morning time this small droplets okay so this small droplets are nothing but condensation it is caused due to condensation okay third question what are the two types of impurities in water here you will write the two type of impurities in water are 
soluble impurities and insoluble impurities that's it only this thing you have to mention if they ask what are the two types of impurities in water so what is the first one soluble impurities and second one insoluble impurities fourth question what is chlorination here you will write adding chlorine tablets in water kills germs and makes the water pure this process of purifying water is called chlorination so what is chlorine chlorine is basically a type of element okay we generally call it halogens in scientific terms okay so chlorine is a element or you can call it as a chemical which is added in water and this has a property that it kills the germs okay in that way it purifies the water so this process is called as chlorination fifth question define water table of an area where here you will write the level of underground water in an area is called water table i will repeat the level of underground water in an area is called water table okay so here you will see that this is a water table okay then comes answer this question here there will be long answers what is land breeze and how does it occur here you will write the flow of the wind from land to water is known as land breeze when the temperature of the land is lower compared to the adjacent water body the cooler air from the land blow towards the sea and when does that happen it happens during the night and early morning so what is land breeze and how does it occur the flow of wind from land to water that is called as land breeze so when wind blows from land towards water body that is a land breeze when the temperature of the land is lower compared to the adjacent water body the cooler air from the land will blow towards the sea because of the pressure difference and it happens during night and early morning second question how is hail different from snow here you will write when raindrops pass through a very cold region of atmosphere they freeze and become hail so raindrops when they pass from cold region they freeze and they become hail whereas when water vapor is suddenly cooled it freezes into tiny white snowflakes or snow so water vapor being cooled it forms snow whereas water droplets that is raindrops when they cool they become hail so this is the difference between hail and snow let us see third question what are the different ways of purifying water here you will write the different ways of purifying water are sedimentation and decantation okay first so this is this diagram over here that you can see it belongs to sedimentation and decantation in that you will write in sedimentation impurities heavier than water are allowed to settle down leaving water clear so this is sedimentation and then in decantation we drain the clean water into another beaker that is decantation filtration in filtration this is a diagram of filtration here you will write in filtration insoluble impurities are removed by passing impure water through filter vapor so these are the different ways by which you can purify water i will repeat what is the first one sedimentation and decantation here in sedimentation impurities heavier than water are allowed to settle down so that it becomes clear and decantation we drain this clean water into another beaker so that is sedimentation and decantation and last one is filtration in filtration insoluble impurities are removed by passing the impure water through filter paper so here we use filter paper like in this particular diagram shown in this diagram you will see that they have used filter paper to purify water okay so these are some ways of purifying water well students that was all from my side i hope this video will be helpful to you and during next video we will be seeing new chapter until then take care bye bye